Discover Sao Paulo, Brazil's dynamic metropolis, where vibrant culture, diverse cuisine and bustling energy converge. Hi, I am Martijn, your guide in Sao Paulo. After watching this travel guide, you know a lot more about this city to get the most out of your trip. From the best museums to beautiful parks, historic landmarks, and this busy street. I don't like to ask, but please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. That's the way to grow on YouTube and to make new videos for you in the future. There are two main airports in the city. The first one is Gaurullos with the most international flights and the other one is Congoyas with a lot of direct domestic flights. To travel from the airport to the city you can use the metro, but on the other hand the Uber taxi service is cheap, 15 to 20 euros, depending on the traffic jam. And when you use the metro service just take the airport express to the loose station. Within the city there are six metro lines with a service from 5 in the morning till midnight. You cannot buy a public transportation card, that's only for locals, but you have to buy an individual tickets for around 85 cents. And we start the Sao Paulo travel guide on the place where the city was founded in 1554. This is Pancho do Colegio. Over here you find these old buildings and it is a perfect place to start your tour for the downtown area. Where well, you can't miss this big square, Praça da Sé. Here you can also find a landmark of the city, the Sao Paulo Cathedral. It is an architectural marvel, with its towering neo-gothic spires. Inside you encounter grand interiors, adorned with stained glass and majestic columns, offering a glimpse into the city's religious and cultural heritage. The downtown area is easy walkable, just from the cathedral to some streets with old and historic buildings. Markets. The financial district with the skyscrapers. And don't miss this beautiful building, the Sao Paulo Theater. In a moment you know more about this park and this Japanese neighborhood. But first, one of the 100 museums in the city, Museo di Arte. This is the best known museum for modern and contemporary art. It holds the finest collections from all over the world, spread out on four floors. And the museum is located at... One of the most important streets in the city. Just behind me is Avenida Paulista. It's crowded every day, except Sundays. Then they close the street for main traffic and open it for cyclists, runners and families. And there is also a free observation deck. Go to this building with the escalator to the second floor and ask for a free ticket. And the view is beautiful. If you want to escape the hustle and bustle in this busy city, my advice is to go to Ibirajuera Park. It's a really nice and big park where you can walk, chill or rent a bike. During the weekdays it isn't that busy, but in the weekends, for example on this Sunday, it's crowded with families and people who want to sport. In a moment you know more about another park, a football museum and this colorful street. But first the municipal market, which is located in the downtown area. It is a vibrant hub showcasing diverse culinary delights, from exotic fruits to cheeses, spices and everything in between. And this is a museum about football, Museo de Futebol. It celebrates Brazil's deep-rooted passion for football through interactive exhibits, historic artifacts and multimedia displays. In a moment you know another great place to chill, but first this street art on Beko de Bacheman. It's also called the Batman Alley. And of course there are paintings in the city, a lot of street art, but this is really a must see. The walls are adorned with a constantly evolving display of lively street art and graffiti. One of the most beautiful parks in the city is Parque da Independencia. It's inspired by Versailles from France. On a beautiful day, like today, you definitely have to visit this park. It's beautiful. Inside you will also find a museum and this monument, the Monumento a Independencia do Brasil. On this place, Emperor Pedro I declared the independence for the Brazilians on September the 7th, 1822. Sao Paulo has the highest population of Japanese people outside Japan. 
Most immigrants came here at the beginning of the 20th century for a better life. And it results in a beautiful district called Libertadje. It's a total different world when you compare it to the other parts of Sao Paulo. A perfect place for the real Asian cuisine. And on Sunday, there's a street market. Another park to visit is Praza do Porto do Sol. Actually, this is the best place for the sunsets because this park is located on a hill. The best time to visit Sao Paulo. I think the months March till May and October and November are the best to go. Less rainfall and haze and the summers are hot and sweaty over here from December till February. I'm here in September and it's almost raining cats and dogs every day. So I hope when you visit Sao Paulo the weather is much better. Give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.